Hi. How are you? I'm good. I'm super tired today. We're all, there's some kind of uh, funky thing going on in the air. Everybody I've talked to today is on this like anxiety stress level. And yeah, it's raining. So Brett's bringing a trooper and she's working through it. Like, <laughs> And she's been doing amazing work, even though she, it's been a hard, it's been a hard, uh, a long day, but I think we've made some good insight and she's making amazing progress on her goals. We've been checking in in between last session and now we do uh, weekly check-ins and, um, I've been really, really excited every week to hear all the progress that you've been making. So um, I'd love you to share whatever insight you would like to now um, about where you're at. And she's really, well, energy is low because we just finished with that session. So Yeah, we just had a very long, intense coaching session. But the big takeaway for me was that I realized that I'm being so much of my day and what I do is controlled by this voice that I'm calling the taskmaster. It's kind of like this to-do list voice and maybe you have a voice that's similar uh, or you can relate to this. But I realize that sort of every day I wake up and I just, there's all these things that need to be done according to the taskmaster. <laughs> and this voice is just constantly telling me things that need to be done and I just prioritize them and do them sort of like a firefighter who just puts out fires and it's kind of awful when you look at it that way but it's also just my comfort zone because I feel very in control and powerful when I put out fires it's like put this in front of me I will take care of it you know I, I can prioritize but what the coaching session really made me realize is that in staying in firefighter mode, I, for one, I crash and burn, right? Because I like am constantly go, 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 and then there's a crash. But I'm also really sort of abdicating responsibility for intentionally deciding what I want to do, like what I do or don't want to do. So for example, um, we were just talking, you, you gave a really nice, uh, a way that you said how, um, you know, pe like getting to choose what I want, what people want to do. Can you elaborate and, and kind of tell people how, because it was very insightful for me when you talked about this, having a choice, like doing something because you really want to do it and not because the taskmaster voice tells me I have to do it, which is my experience. <laughs> um, so sometimes when we have um, this kind of mentality of, having somebody else uh, kind of like telling us what to do in our own mind. Um, it winds up running our lives in a way where we don't take time to have perspective on what we do and do not actually want to participate in. Um, and when you set your life up in a way where you're constantly putting out fires, um, you're able to avoid that taskmaster mentality and constantly be feeling like you are um, really doing something important and urgent and choosing um, to feel needed rather than um, figuring out what you want to do and what you don't want to do. Um, and part of that is setting yourself up for this kind of really hyped up, like uh, anxiety filled, but it's, it's kind of, it feels positive as you're going up it. It feels like a rush, like an adrenaline rush of sorts, just as if you were going to run and jump off a cliff and there's kind of like, like thing, am I going to jump into the water and are there going to be jagged rocks down there? But there's like, if I took the time to stop and pause and think about it, I wouldn't jump off the cliff and I really want to jump off the cliff. So here I am, I'm going to go, I'm just going to jump. And, um, there's this fear of if I stopped and, and thought about this, that I would, I would actually decide not to do it. And so if there, that isn't necessarily the case. And I think we found out later on in the session that you can make decisions from different places um, with a different mentality and come from a much more heart-centered place um, and a much more grounded place and still have it feel really exciting and figuring out the difference between anxiety and excitement. Yeah, a big realization I had was that I'm sort of a thrill seeker emotionally. So, you know, my life is... <laughs> 
not jumping off cliffs, but in the way I schedule myself, uh, I, I, I am a thrill seeker. Like I thrive on that excitement of just like taking a ton on and I'll figure out how to do it all. And there's just like this excitement and energy about that that I actually really like. And with Heather, I was able to sort of figure out that I like the excitement and there's like a childish good part of that energy that I want to keep. But, you know, I can, again, do that from a centered place and really figuring out how to do that instead of this sort of childish excitement being, you know, getting too much. And then I end up in this like crash and burn cycle where I just say yes to everything, take everything on, over schedule myself. But it was, it was very eye opening for me to sort of see that this is a behavior I choose, that it's uh, the over scheduling is something that I clearly like to do because I like to stay in that firefighting mode because it just feels like autopilot and easy for me. <laughs> as weird as that sounds, it's easy for me to just stay in go, go, go kind of high anxiety mode. And so we've um, said a few things that Brett will be updating me on throughout the month so we can help her um, transform this kind of mentality of the go, go, go into more choice. So going from reactive to choice. Right. Cause right now my days are totally reactive based on what the taskmaster tells me needs to get done. And I just, you know, start working down the priority list. And as Heather said, it doesn't leave a lot of room for like joy or enjoying your tasks or choosing to do them. Cause you're just in this reaction space. So what I'm going to be working on on the next few weeks is I've decided to write down as a way to sort of create mindfulness uh, and awareness, really more than anything, everything the taskmaster says I need to do, which is a lot. I'm gonna email it all to Heather. So she's gonna get emails of everything my taskmaster is telling me I need to do, this voice in my head. And f when I see it all out, I'm just gonna take some time to have quiet time by myself or just sort of reflect because the reality is I think only maybe 10% of what the taskmaster is telling me to do is actually really important if I line it up with my true, true goals, the things that I really care about. And the rest is just noise. So that is my you know, big homework assignment and I'm excited about it. Yeah. You've done really great. I'm excited to watch the rest. Me too. <laughs> Stay tuned. Yeah. Until next time. Until next time. <laughs>